Well, imagine being allergic to the sun, unable to go outside without completely covering up in special clothing and gear. It's how one local boy lives his everyday life. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel has Kevin's story. Um, he's still good, he's naughty, but Batman kills him. Ha, 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 ha. This is I a true. Batman bed. If you ask any four-year-old what they want to be when they grow up, that's cool. Superhero well, may be top of the list. I, I am Batman. Kevin Riser is no different. He's absolutely obsessed with Batman. But his Batman pajamas aren't enough to save him. Batman gloves. This outfit he's putting on inside is to protect him from the world outside. Cool. It's what he wears almost every day. He's allergic to the sun. Um, UV rays. Uh, he's mostly allergic to UVB. He's pretty much 90% of the time indoors, windows shut. Kevin's mom Jennifer noticed a problem a year and a half ago. During the summer months, rashes, painful blisters. She thought he was allergic to sunblock, so switched brands, but it didn't end. I get lashes. Nine months ago, after just 20 minutes on the playground at daycare. He was wearing long pants and a short sleeve t-shirt. Um, he broke out in hives all over his arms, all over his face, and he had blisters all over his ears. Um, he was obviously very itchy. Uh, it hurt. Doctor after doctor, test after test, it was finally confirmed the sun was the problem. But that's hard to explain to a little boy. How do you tell your three-year-old, I'm sorry, honey, you can't go outside. You know, we drive by a park and still to this day, you know, he'll look over and he'll be like, Mommy, can we go there? And, you know, you're like, I'm sorry, honey, we can't do that right now. You know, it's, it's the UV index is too high, you know, or maybe we can come back when it's dark outside. It's sunshine like this. That's the usual problem Kevin has to deal with. But on the day we visited him, he was on cloud nine. It was pouring down rain and he thought that meant regular clothes and lots of outdoor playtime, you know just like a regular kid. Today, I'm going to go outside all day and I'm going to not wear my stuff. We checked the UV index. Looks like we've got a six for today, which is obviously above a four. So that means we're going to have to wear full gear, rain, clouds or not. His cousin knows what he's going through and so do the kids at school. Still, it's hard for kids to understand. It really is. You know, they see him and he just you know, very clearly looks very different. And Jennifer says adults are also a problem. We went to a special summer camp for kids that have severe sun sensitive issues and we were boarding the airplane to go there and, you know, some, some guy was just kind of like pointing and laughing. Yeah, it's a little tiny bit of scar. Board certified dermatologist David Sire says they don't really know what causes Kevin's condition. A polymorphous light eruption. But there are ways to control it. Sun protective clothing, sunscreens, a technique called skin hardening where he's slowly exposed to light and medications. It may get better with time, but ultimately this is not something that you grow out of. For now, Kevin is happy and healthy and ready to save the world. And in his eyes, you don't need sun to do that. Just lots of energy. I just want him to be happy. You know, more than anything else, as long as he's happy, that's what's important. Do you want to see something that's really cool? I do. <laughs> Ta-da! I like that Batman outfit, Kevin. Uh, the worry for Kevin is skin cancer, and Jennifer has thought of relocating to a place where there is less sunlight, but she says it's hard for a single mom whose support system and family are here in California.